welcome to my channel in this channel we provide the in depth knowledge of different programming languages which differentiate you with others in our series today we are going to learn something known as functions in c language before starting what is function let's take one example now you have got a task to write a program to display 50 times hello in a c language you are having different approaches to achieve this target some of the approaches we will discuss here suppose approach 1 what you will do you will write void main printf hello 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 50 times as you execute this program you will get hello 50 times on the screen approach 2 you will write void main printf hello printf hello printf hello you can call this help uh, printf hello function 50 times as you execute this program it will display 50 times hello fine better than this two we are having third approach as we have already dis discussed if you want to execute a set of statement repeatedly for n number of times we can use something known as loops so there are three different types of loop first one is for loop second one is while loop and third one is do while loop either of these three we can use any one loop to achieve this target so here in this program we have used while loop void main int i equal to 0 while i plus plus is less than 50 printf hello so this program also display 50 times hello now the requirement of this software changes we have to display hello 50 times at three different places in the program now how you will get this output now our approach will be what we will do we will write a small program in c language void main here we will write code to display 50 times hello fine no issue next two statement will be executed means different code will be executed then we will write a code to display 50 times hello again it's fine no issue again some code will be executed again we have to display 50 times hello so in this program what we are seeing we are trying to display 50 times hello at three different places so here loops will not work out loops will execute exactly same at one place but here we have to display 50 times at three different places now one approach is you will write loop here fine loop here fine loop here fine now imagine a situation in place of 3 you have to display this 50 times hello at 300 places then this approach will not work out to overcome this situation c provides an entity called something known as function now what is function function is a self contained block of instructions or statements what is function function is a self contained block of statement or instruction which performs a specific task knowingly unknowingly we are learning function from the first class of the c language we started learning what is main main is a function what is printf printf is a function what is scanf scanf is a function what is clr scr clr scr a function but right now what actually function or how this functions are working we are learning so what is function function is a self contained block of statements or instructions which performs a specific task how to identify a function in c what does it means by seeing or how the compiler identify that this is a function a non keyword listen very carefully these are very important points that you have to remember while doing the programming and these are very important why i am saying because function is the cornerstone of c language how to identify a function in c a non keyword followed by a pair of parentheses is a function a non keyword what is keyword keyword is a word whose meaning is already defined to the machine a non keyword followed by a 
pair of parenthesis is a function means if i write if is if is a function answer will be no why because if is a keyword if i write while is while is a keyword yes the while is not a function is main is a function yes why because main is not a keyword this is again an uh, interview question is main is a keyword maximum will say yes main is a keyword but actually main is not a keyword simple sa funda jo keyword hoga wo function nahi ho sakta aur jo function hoga wo keyword nahi ho sakta to main is what main is just an identifier from where the c program start executing and terminate c program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminates with the closing brace of main so a non keyword followed by a pair of parenthesis is a function this is how c identifies if this is a function now let's take an example in this function we are having three things first one is function declaration second one is function definition and third one is function call now listen carefully what is function function is a self contained block of statement or instruction wo ek aisa block hai jiske andar hum kuch statements likhte hain ya instruction likhte hain jo ki jab bhi hum unko execute karna hota hai to unko hum call karte hain to there are three things function declaration function definition and third one is function call now let's take an example here in this program same program we are trying to display hello 50 times now that code will be written inside the function now here what we are writing void hello 50 what is hello 50 hello 50 is a function whose return type is void what is return type that we will discuss further right now hello 50 opening and closing parenthesis semicolon this is known as function prototype declaration then we are having void main this is function definition we are making a function call then we are writing printf i am good i am fine again we are calling hello 50 printf i am good i am fine again i am calling hello 50 here is the definition of the hello 50 function in which we are displaying hello 50 times means that logic to display what we are doing here the logic to display hello 50 times is written in the function definition this is function definition this is also a function definition function definition of what main function and this is function prototype and this is function call now as we already know c program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminates with the closing brace of main c program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminates with the closing brace of main in main function what we have done we have make a function call what is function function is a self contained block of instruction what is function function is a self contained block of instructions which performs a स्पेसिफिक टास्क तो हमने एक सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस और सेट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स को एक ब्लॉक के अंदर रख दिया और उस ब्लॉक का नाम हमने क्या लिख दिया हेलो फिफ्टी दिस इज नोन एज फंक्शन डेफिनेशन ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एग्जीक्यूट दिस लॉजिक यू हैव टू मेक अ फंक्शन कॉल सिंपल सा फंडा तो इन मेन फंक्शन वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर कॉलिंग हेलो फिफ्टी जैसे हमने हेलो फिफ्टी को कॉल किया the control will go to the definition of the function it will execute all the statement and the control comes back to the same statement from where the function call is made to jaise aapko 50 times hello print kar raha hai aapne function ko call kiya it is same like that in real in our daily life now imagine a situation if you want to if your bike is something happens to your bike what you will do you will make a call to the mechanic simple as a funda and mechanic know how to 
rectify your bike. You will just make a call to the mechanic. Mechanic will repair your bike and return back to his home. Same thing if you want to make some furniture at your home. What you will do? You will make a call to the carpenter. Now carpenter knows how to make the furniture. It's not your duty. Same thing Hello 50 knows what? How to print Hello 50 times. Now whenever you want to display 50 times Hello in your program, you just make a call to the Hello 50 function. Same thing, whenever you want to make a furniture at your home, what you will do? You will make a call to the carpenter function. If something happens to your bike or car, you will call, call the mechanic. If some plumbing works come, come at your home, what you will do? You will call the plumber. Plumber know how to rectify the water tap. You just make a call, he will come. He will do his task and return back to his home. Same thing, printf50 knows what? How to print hello 50 times. You just make a call, it will print hello 50 times and return back to his home. Same thing, next line, printf hello, uh, printf good, printf I am in fine. Again what we are doing, again we want to display 50 times hello. Again what we will do? We will make a call to the hello 50 function. Again, hello 50 function will display 50 times hello on the screen. Again, some program logic. I am good. I am fine. Again, we want to print hello 50. Again, we want to print 50 times hello on the screen. Again, what we will do? We will call hello 50 function. Same thing. Okay. Now, what is function prototype? Function prototype is a declaration which tells the compiler what is the function name and its receiving and returning value. This is not the right time to discuss what is receiving value and returning value. Now at time just understand what is function prototype. It's a declaration which tells the compiler what is the function name, what is its return type and what it will receive. By seeing this prototype what we can say name of the function is what? hello 50 it receives nothing it returns nothing what is void void is a keyword hello 50 is a name of the function it is receiving nothing and it is returning nothing so what is function prototype it's a declaration which tells the compiler it's a declaration which tells the compiler what is the function name and it's receiving and returning value now how we make a function call? A function gets called when the function name is followed by a semicolon from any function definition. We have already done here main a function name followed by a pair of parentheses and a semicolon. Inside the function definition it becomes what? It becomes function call. Next one is what? What is function definition? A function is defined when the function name is followed by a pair of braces. We can have a number of statements between the pair of braces. Here, when a function name followed by a pair of braces, it becomes what? It becomes function definition. So, let's recap all the things. What is function? Function is a self-contained block of statement or instruction which performs a specific task. How C identifies a function? A non-keyword followed by a pair of parentheses becomes function in C language. There are three things. One is function prototype. Second one is function definition. And third one is function call. Now what is function de uh, declaration or function prototype? It's a declaration which tells the compiler what is the function name and what it's receiving and returning value. How we can make a function call? A function gets called when the function name is followed by a semicolon from any other function definition. What is the function definition? A function is defined when the function name is followed by a pair of braces. We can have n number of statement between the pair of this braces now go through this if any doubt you can ask me
Now this slide is very important. What we have learned. Just pay attention to this slide. We will discuss one by one. Now there are certain rules for naming a function name. What does it mean? We cannot have a function name with one, two, three. Rules for naming function name is first character should be an alphabet. Rest can be alphabet or underscore sign or digit. First point is first character should be an alphabet. Means we can have a function name like a123, but we cannot have a function name like this. Why? Because first character should be an alphabet or underscore sign. We can have like this function name or underscore sign. Rest can be rest means these names. Rest can be alphabet or digit or underscore sign. This is your first rule while naming a function. Second is no comma no spaces means we cannot have like this function name. We cannot have like this function name. Both are wrong. No spaces, no comma. Function names are case sensitive. Case sensitive means it sends the case. It differentiate capital case with the small case means this ABC will different from this ABC. Compiler treats both ABC in a different manner because not only function name, the complete C language is a case sensitive language. Next point, a program is a collection of one or more function. As we have already discussed in the previous example, we are having one hello 50 function and one main function. A C program is nothing but a collection of one or more function. We can define n number of function in a C program. If a C program contains only one function, it must be main. Because C program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminates with the closing brace of main. Because as the compiler will start executing the program, first of all it will search for the main function. If you will not having any main function in your program, it will flash an error. So if a C program contains only one function, it must be main. Next, in C program, if C program contains more than one function, then one of the function must be main because program execution always start from the opening brace of main and terminates with the closing brace of main. We have already discussed this. There is no limit on the number of function that might be present in the C program. There is no limit on the number of function that might be present in a C program. As we have already discussed, it is nothing but a collection of function. Each function in a program is called in the sequence specified by the function called in the main function. Fine, no issues. Okay, all the function call will be called in a sequence. Whenever we make a function call, control goes to the function definition and after executing all the statement, control comes back to the same statement from where the function call is made. As this also we have discussed, whenever we make a function call, the control goes to the function definition where the function is defined and after executing all the statements, the control comes back to the same statement from where the function call is made. See here. Whenever we, we make a function call, what is this? This is a function call. Why we are making a function call? Because we want to perform a specific task. What is that specific task? To display hello 50 times on the screen. Now this hello 50 function knows how to display 50 times hello on the screen. Instead of writing that code again and again, what we will do? We will make a function call and the control goes from this place to the function definition function knows how to print hello 50 times it will display 50 times hello and the control goes back to the same statement from where the function call is made as we have discussed carpenter mechanic and plumber example when you want to make furniture at your home you just make a call to the carpenter function he knows how to make the furniture he will come and make the furniture and go back Next point, this is very important class, try to concentrate each and every point. 
we cannot define a function inside a function this is common sense if we define a function inside a function it will be not visible outside the function simple funda agar plumber कारपेंटर के अंदर चले जाएगा तो प्लम्बर का तो अस्तित्व ही खत्म हो जाएगा तो प्लम्बर जब दिखेगा नहीं तो दिखेगा तो उसको कोई कॉल ही नहीं कर पाएगा तो वी कैन नॉट डिफाइन अ फंक्शन इन साइड अ फंक्शन वी कैन नॉट रीडिफाइन अ फंक्शन इट्स एन एरर एक ही चीज को दो बार आप डिफाइन करोगे तो अल्टीमेटली वो एरर आना ही है बिकॉज कंपाइलर विल नॉट एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट विच डेफिनेशन ही शुड कंसिडर तो रीडेफिनेशन ऑफ एन फंक्शन इट्स एन एरर you can call a function n number of time as we have already done in the example we are calling hello 50 how many times first second and third but we are defining that function only once humne usko define kitni baar kiya hai ek baar kiya hai but humne usko call kitni baar kiya hai three times kiya we can call this function n number of times nothing special about three Next, any function can be called from any other function. Main can call hello, hello can can call main, whatever be the situation. The order of the function definition is not so important, whereas order of function call is important. Fine, this we will discuss just after some time. A function can be called n number of times. We have already done. We have called hello fifty three times. A function can call itself. Such process is called. recursion that we will discuss in the future classes now let's take an example that we have already discussed plumber mechanic and all that here we are having three prototypes white carpenter white plumber white mechanic now what this white carpenter says if carpenter is a name of the function and void is a return type what is void void is a keyword void means it will return nothing no integer how it will return that is a part of our next classes but right now void means it will return nothing again void plumber what is plumber plumber is a name of the function it will return nothing it will receive nothing what is void mechanic mechanic is a function which will return nothing which will receive nothing so here what we are doing we are define we are declaring these three functions name carpenter plumber and mechanic carpenter knows how to make the furniture plumber knows how to do pipeline and mechanics know how to rectify the bike every function has its own task whenever you want to perform that task simple sa funda whenever you want to perform that task just call that function if you want to make furniture call carpenter if you want to go for some water tap rectification call plumber if you want some bike for rectification go for mechanic now in main function c program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminate with the closing brace of main here we are making a function call carpenter what does it means ki we want to make furniture the control as we have already discussed the control will go from this place to this place from function call to function definition fine now in this carpenter function what we are doing we are making a function call to the plumber now plumber and carpenter are two different entities tab ye bhi to ho sakta hai na carpenter ke ghar mein kuch pipeline ka problem aa jaye तो कारपेंटर क्या करेगा प्लम्बर को कॉल करेगा और प्लम्बर को मालूम है हाउ टू रेक्टिफाई दी पाइपलाइन अब प्लम्बर का हो सकता है कि प्लम्बर की बाइक खराब हो जाए ना वेन एवर यू मेक अ फंक्शन कॉल द कंट्रोल गोज फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस अब प्लम्बर के अंदर हमने फिर क्या कॉल कर दिया मैकेनिक कॉल कर दिया अब मैकेनिक से कंट्रोल कहाँ जाएगा कंट्रोल विल गो फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस अब मैकेनिक के अंदर आउटपुट हमने क्या लिखा हुआ है आई एम इन मैकेनिक तो सबसे पहले आउटपुट क्या आएगा आई एम इन मैकेनिक उसके बाद आउटपुट क्या आएगा कंट्रोल विल कम फ्रॉम दिस मैकेनिक प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस आई एम इन प्लम्बर फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस आई एम इन कारपेंटर फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस 
देन अगेन वी आर मेकिंग अ कॉल टू प्लम्बर अब यहाँ से कंट्रोल कहाँ जाएगा प्लम्बर फंक्शन में प्लम्बर से कहाँ जाएगा मैकेनिक फंक्शन में मैकेनिक में आउटपुट क्या आएगा आई एम इन मैकेनिक वहाँ से कंट्रोल वापस कहाँ आएगा यहाँ आएगा आई एम इन प्लम्बर प्लम्बर से वापस कहाँ आएगा आई एम इन सॉरी प्लम्बर से वापस कहाँ आएगा कंट्रोल सीधा आएगा एट दिस प्लेस देन वी आर मेकिंग अ फंक्शन कॉल टू मैकेनिक इट विल नॉट गो टू कारपेंटर इट विल नॉट गो टू प्लम्बर डायरेक्टली इट विल गो टू मैकेनिक वाई बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कि वेन एवर वी मेक अ फंक्शन कॉल इट टेक्स कंट्रोल टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फंक्शन एंड आफ्टर एग्जीक्यूटिंग ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स एज इट एनकाउंटर द क्लोजिंग ब्रेस ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फंक्शन द कंट्रोल कम्स बैक टू द सेम प्लेस फ्रॉम वेयर द फंक्शन कॉल इज मेड so at last we have called the mechanic function control will go to the definition of the mechanic function and it will display i am in mechanic and the control comes back to the same place from where the function call is made next line print f i am in main as it encounters the closing brace the program terminates to so main function here this is what this is the definition of the main function this is what this is the definition of the main function this is carpenter function call plumber function call mechanic function call printer function call and what is this this is carpenter definition this is plumber definition and this is mechanic definition these are three definition in mechanic what he what we will write here code to rectify the bike here code to rectify the water tap here code to rectify uh, sorry code, code to make the furniture and main function opening brace execution start closing brace execution terminates any function can call any function here main is calling carpenter carpenter is calling plumber plumber is calling mechanic mechanic is calling printf so any function can call any function so here we are having three things first one is function prototype second one is function definition and third one is function call now go through this point very thoroughly because actual c starts from today only this is the first chapter function where c start actually till date if else switch case loops these are are very easy chapters but from functions it plays a very important role go thoroughly to each and every slide take this snapshot take this screenshot and try to understand how these functions are working if any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will try to reply as early as possible so it's for today it's time to stop the lecture and we will meet in the next class thank you good night